Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and in this video we're going to conduct a one sample t-test for the mean and we're going to use a critical value approach but I'm going to let Minitab do part of the work for me. At Smarter U, the average attendance at basketball games has been 2,825. This year, attendance for the first 15 games has averaged 2,615 with a standard deviation of 735. The athletic director claims that the attendance is the same as last year. If alpha equals 0.05, is his claim supported? So the first thing I'm going to do, even before I go to Minitab, I'm going to go ahead and gather up my information. So we're given that the average attendance is 2,000. 825. X bar, or the sample mean, this year we've averaged 2,615 and we have a sample of 15 games. And what you'll note here is that this standard deviation that's given is not for the population. It relates back to these 15 games. So standard deviation, or S, is 735. And remember, having the sample standard deviation instead of the population triggers a t-test. So let's set up our null and alternative. So the established value of the mean is 2825. And the athletic director claims that it is the same as last year, which means our alternative sign is not equal to. I knew to put the equal to sign in my null hypothesis because remember in the alternative we never have an equal to. We either have less than, greater than, or not equal to. So this not equal to in HA tells me I'm going to run a two-tailed test. Having the sample standard deviation tells me that I'm going to run a t-test. So when I run um, a two-tailed test, I'm going to use the critical value approach. I have to have the critical values to compare my test statistic to. And in this case, I had a two-tailed test, alpha 05, and degrees of freedom were 14. Remember that my n was 15. Degrees of freedom is simply n minus 1. And so I know that my alpha is split in two, and I have 0.025 up in the right tail, and I have an alpha divided by 2, a 0.025 in the lower tail. And this gave me symmetrical critical values of plus and minus 2.145. I pulled these out of a t distribution table. So now I'm over in mini tab, and I'm going to come to stat. I'm going to come to basic statistics, and remember I'm running a one sample t test and I have summarized data and we were given a sample size of 15. The sample mean was 2615. The sample standard deviation was 735. I'm going to perform the hypothesis test. Remember the established value or the hypothesized value of the mean out of our hypothesis statements was that 2825. Now in options, I need to go in and make sure I'm running at the right confidence level. 95 is correct. And my alternative hypothesis, remember here we select the direction of our alternative, and that was not equal to. I'm going to hit OK twice. And so Minitab runs my one sample t-test, and what we'll see is it's giving me some descriptive statistics, but this is really what I care about down here what I'm looking for is that t value. So now it's decision time. Remember if my calculated test value is not more extreme than our critical value our decision is not to reject HO but if we have a calculated test value more extreme than our critical values then we will reject HO. Well when we look here we had a t value of negative 1.11. Remember that critical value on the left side was a negative 2.145. And so I know that my negative 1.11 is not beyond this. I would have had to get something more extreme than that negative 2.145. So comparing this to this, 
my decision is do not reject HO. There is sufficient evidence to support the athletic director's claim that the average attendance is actually 2,825. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.